Well, welcome to uh, the Bulgarian. This is my ship that I constructed uh, several years ago, part of a pair of two, uh, and it's actually part of a larger collection of mixed media artworks uh, that I call the Higner Maritime Collection. Um, I'm Justin Higner, and I'm the one that built it. Um, I've been building mixed media artworks like this for 26 years. Uh, as I said, this is a, a part of a pair of two sister ships. Uh, that is, two ships that are virtually identical in design and construction. And what this is supposed to do is basically promote the idea of using uh, throwaway materials that we usually just put aside or use for other things and putting more artistic meaning behind them. And also fleshing out different worlds and creating them and also bringing them to life like this. This is, as I said, mixed media, so it's cardboard, it's fabric, it's glass, it's foam, it's also uh, Christmas lights essentially decked throughout. It is meant to be essentially an expedition style cruise ship. So when you see this, and you see these uh, uh, projectiles right here in the front, this is, those are really um, uh, cranes in a sense to launch the lifeboats or launch expedition craft, zodiac crafts as we might call them and they're put back on board. So it's a kind of fantasy. It's not a strictly um, accurate representation of a ship, but it does help to illustrate the kind of, of um, cruise that someone might take, expedition-style cruises, which are becoming more and more popular. And so to reflect the reality, the fantasy uh, catches up with that uh, for me, and that's where this ship comes from. It's uh, operated by Ward Line Expeditions, it's a branch of the center, you know, the, the main company. And uh, the Ward Line is actually a reference to a real shipping line that existed in the 1930s. Most famously and sadly, it's associated with the destruction of the Morro Castle uh, ocean liner um, cruise ship that went from New York down to Cuba and back uh, on regular trips that burned on the way back to New York. But, uh, you know, that was the legacy. And I just like the name, and also because I live on Ward Road. So it made sense to give a nod to that too. As you're going around, you will be able to look inside. And inside of this ship, you can see a number of artists that are paid tribute to. And there are several that are actually inside. And um, the interior has a kind of urban touch to it. And there is actually work in the back, for example, by Spain Rodriguez, who recently passed away. And one of his best works, as far as I'm concerned, is right off the back right there. Uh, according, to, according to my list right here, there are, there's also Barbara L. Rickard, and um, also a work from Autism um, Services of Western New York. And uh, of course, you can't mention uh, necessarily the names, but one of this person's works is also on display on that side. As you're also going around, you'll notice some other different touches. You might even find some common household items there, because um, that's what I do. I like to take not just any one thing and think, what could I do with that? Does it have to go to the trash? Does it have to go even to recycling? What else can I use this yet for? And uh, what other worlds can I kind of create within something like this? Think of this as a kind of Fabergé egg, a mixed media Fabergé egg. And this is sort of my interpretation of a world building exercise. And in fact, one of the things that I do is conduct mixed media workshops uh, on occasion with different institutions like Autism Services of Western New York, or even Casalani or other different galleries, and uh, be able to help people uh, find themselves a little more by using unconventional materials and uh, be able to express themselves that way. So uh, thank you very much for coming out here to Hall Walls and uh, being able to see one of my ships here. Um, by the way, this is one of around, I want to say, 250 or so that uh, have ever existed in the whole of the collection's history. And, uh, you know, as it's a passion of mine, as you're looking around, you'll also see a dedication uh, by the way, all the ships since 9-11 since have been dedicated to something or other. And this one right here is dedicated to Lamia al-Gulani, uh, where, who died in 2019. She was actually an Iraqi curator for the Baghdad Museum. And sadly, 
she was uh, uh, unfortunately captured by ISIS and eventually executed for heresy, essentially, by trying to just simply protect the, uh, the country's core collection of artifacts. And since I'm a historian as well, that really hits as well. Um, now, that's one dedication, and if you, if and when you see other members of the collection, you'll see other dedications there. You might even recognize, recognize names um, from the community as well that are also mentioned. So, as you're also going around too, um, you'll note some touches that are kind of unconventional, and that's kind of the idea. I'm, not, I'm an unconventional sort of person, as is, I think, some of the artists in this room too. Uh, kind of have the same idea. There's some wonderful, wonderful people in here. So definitely have a walk around, and um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask the gallery, and we'll connect. This is Commodore Justin Higner, signing off.